Hi, everybody. James Savolsky back here for EA Sports. Well, the battle lines were drawn in Game 1. What's in store for Game 2 of this series? Two teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. And uses the length of the stick to knock that puck away. Shepard's going to hang on for a whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Charlotte's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the glove. The checkers win that offensive zone faceoff. That was off the blocker. Puck scooped up by Asplund. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Won the draw there on the attack. And a strong defensive effort to get in front of that. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. The Bears win it in the defensive zone. Snapper from the slot. Scooped up along the wall by the view. Slides the puck across to Asplund. And they'll go the other way with it. Good hit on the play. Here's a chance. Oh, what an insane stop by Nash. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. A great shot. He's going to beat the goaltender here, James. But he drops to that butterfly position. He tries to take up most of the net. But the shooter just finds it, finds a little bit of room, and buries it. Hershey's early lead in this one. A direct result, Cheryl, of moving their feet. They're moving their feet, and they're moving the puck. And this gives them a little bit of a cushion to play free. And you get your entire bench into the game early. You show good habits, and you get rewarded for it. Slip feed. Chuck of that to keep it out. The Checkers have had their opportunities here in this first period, but are still trailing. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Steps into the offensive end. Big time blocker stopped by Shepard. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Lots of time left in this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Rabinsky's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. And he maintains possession of the puck here. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it to Frank. Centering pass. Picked off in front. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Frank's got it in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick shot! Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Moves it around along the half wall. And gets a piece of it with the trapper. Shepard's in a great position to be able to make that stop, James. That's in a high-scoring area. It's a threat. Great A, and he makes a stop. Charlotte's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Hershey's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The checkers gain control of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. The checkers are across the line and into the offensive end. Charlotte's got control of the puck. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. 
the checkers are looking to even things up despite the fact that they've had more shots they still trail in the first hershey's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face off now a quick pass to vecchioni Sees the pass. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Steps across the blue line. The Bears take possession in the defensive end. Through center. Taken along the wall by Empey. Slurring to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Strong's exploring options with the puck. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Knight's got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Bears have taken a 1-0 lead. And he takes the dish. Oh, what a save in front! That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Shot. Love save made by Shepard. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Fires it on net. A shot. Oh, what a great glove save on the play. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. The Bears will go to work here in the offensive zone. Turned aside with the glove by Knight. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The checkers are looking to even things up here. They've had plenty of looks, but they still trail in the first. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. Here they come. Oh, look at this chance. Takes the feed. Gains the zone from the right side. Moves it to the middle. in play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Hershey's won the draw. No goal to win. Let's it fly. Makes the save with the trapper. Won the first off, and now let's see what they can do. We got a whistle penalty coming up. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. The Bears get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Strong defensive effort. Shot! And he makes a save there. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. There's another consecutive save. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Rose ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And that sends a few people scrambling for cover on the bench. Asplund's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Hershey's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it quickly over to Rowe. Answered the call there. 
It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he traps and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Slides the puck over. And he takes the pass. Cuts it off the use and the iron. The checkers trying to shrink their deficit, but it won't get done there as they wire it off the play. Oh, he's going to get cold on that slash. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty. So now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be to task. comes out for the face-off. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. And manages to clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Hershey's got the puck shorthanded. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Trailing by one and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game. A little four on four coming up here. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. The checkers move the puck in the defensive zone. And that's poked away. Picked up along the boards by Fitzgerald. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Pass to Maparat. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Hershey's got some room to do something here on this power play as the penalty expired. And a strong effort on that play. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. McElrath's going to serve a pair for interference. They'll play some four on four. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Wax it into the offensive zone. Right up the gut. Here they go. The checkers take it along the wall. Face-off looming here on this power play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a feed in front! Oh, he comes up with a stop! And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Matt Barras almost back on the ice. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Makes the save. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything. So they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. The checkers must be feeling a little snake bitten trailing in the late stages of the first. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Oh, turns it aside once again. Let's see what the official says here. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You gotta find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Hershey's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. 
So when you're not scoring on your power play, James, you just have to get it to the net and you have to crash. You gotta get to the dirty areas. Doesn't matter how it goes in, just that it goes in. And that carries off a body in traffic. And the puck leaves the zone. Puts it on net with the stop. The Bears gain possession. There you go, period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. here for the face-off after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little stall at the face-off here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Slides the puck over to Benning. Look out. Here they come on the attack. Shepard's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. We're still in the early stages of this period. 1-0 the score. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Cutting to the front of the net. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And he loses control of the puck. Poked away at center by Benning. Moves the pass in front. And that's Still has possession. Takes a shot. Oh, what a close save there. Hershey's been very active offensively here early in the second period, and they continue to lead. The Bears win it. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Here comes the call. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. As they're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. The trippers get a hold of the puck under man. And they manage to clear it. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Hershey's got to be feeling good about how their game is going tonight, extending the lead to two. And I think there's a bit of relief here, James. I mean, when you've been peppering the goaltender all night long and you're not being rewarded for it, sometimes it can go the other way, but they execute on that one and they give themselves a cushion. Moves into the slot. Oh, he got all that. What a save by Nick. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. What a great job of 
tracking the puck, not one, but two consecutive saves. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Hershey's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! Denies him in close. Snively's crossed the line and gained the zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Snively's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one and he gets lost in it. Makes a move in front! Denies him again! You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Hershey's got the puck in the defensive end. From the point, they take control of it. And he gets in front of it to block it. Moves it to Asplund. Hershey's got control of it now from their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Hershey's on the attack. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Mayhew's got the puck along the wing. Gaining steam here on the attack. He scores! They used their speed on this counter-attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. The Chippers have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They cut the deficit within one. Along the half wall with the puck. Chance in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Through center along the wing. The Bears played along the wing. Comes up with a monster save in front. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. Charlotte's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. And he turns that one aside. Chance to get it out of the defensive zone. Dishes it to Esplin. Charlotte's got the puck along the wall. The Bears have possession shorthanded. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Oh, and he whiffs. He grabs the puck here at the point. And the penalty kill unit doing work. Excellent kill as we go back to even strength. James is only a PK player, never on the power play. Knew how important it was to preserve a lead, and you get to get out there, and you want to deliver for your team because you know how much it means to them and yourself. So getting out there, good habits, and finding a way to get it done, it's exactly what this group did. Big time save by Knight. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low. Oh, save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's great. James. I mean, he's made the key saves that he needs to make, and it's all about for a tender, managing the momentum swings of the game, and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Past the midway mark in this period, it's 2-1. Charlotte's got it in the offensive zone. The Bears look to start the transition game. They've got some momentum here. Get some club on it. Charlotte's got a hold of the puck now. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. 
Puck sent in, and that will allow for a fresh clip of forwards to get out on the ice. Across the line. Sends the pass over. And that goes off a of body. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Grabbed along the board by Strom. Charlotte's got possession of the puck. Quick feed to True. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. In the final moments of this period, the Bears are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. The Bears will play it in their own end. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. From the right side and up the middle. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Couldn't catch up to that pass. A chance! And he had the answer on that one. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Charlotte's got the win off that draw. Slides it across to Delpy. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Shepard. And that puck leaves the zone. The Checkers have it now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Quick pass to Delpy. Strong defensive effort. Takes a bump but hangs on. With possession along the wall. And he was ready for that one. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. He might have a step here. He's in the clear. With the pass. Scores! Clinical! They've been behind all game, but they've clawed their way back with good habits, and they find themselves at an even score. The Checkers have tied things up after that snipe, and this has been back and forth all night. Yeah, I just love it, James. And they put themselves in a good position here as they get the equalizer nearing the end of the second. They'll have a lot to talk about in the intermission heading into the third. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Keegan on that hit. Hershey's got it along the wall. Big time stop. Here's a short pass to Vecchioli. Oh, and it's another save on the play. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. What a great read breaking up the pass. Rocks him. Frisky's carrying it ahead. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Tries to get the puck over to McElrath. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Hey fans, time for our parachute drop. If you'd like to join our Insiders Club here tonight, you can get exclusive media-only access to upcoming press conferences, practices, or even a locker room tour. Membership is free, so what are you waiting for? Join our Insiders Club today. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Here we go. We're in the final frame here in this one, and it is still up for grabs. Centering pass! And he denies that great opportunity there. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Hershey's got it in the defensive zone. 
The Bears cross the line and gain the zone. Charlotte's looking to break out of their own end. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Oh, smart heads up Reed. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Face off looming as both centers get into position. And off the draw, they take the puck. Moves it quickly over to Vecchioni. Skates to the crease. Here's a chance. Turns it away. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. and he's going to hang on. The checkers win the draw. And he takes the feed. Charlotte's moving it along the wing. Fires it! Grabs it with the glove. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Sends a pass over. Blocked in traffic. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Takes a shot. Shuts him down. Point to point pass. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Moves it over to Snively. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a shot! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Here's a change. And they take possession here in the offensive zone in time to go on the attack. Hershey's moving it into the offensive end. The checkers gain possession in their own end. Poked away in the offensive end. Moves it to Rubinsky. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Dishes it to True. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Picked up by Iorio. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the board. And that goes off a player in front. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Oh, he hammered him. Uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Iorio's taking it from his own end. Through pass ahead. Shot! Comes up with the stop. The checkers play it along the boards. Charlotte's got the puck against the half wall. And he denied that opportunity. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. The checkers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Grabs it in his own end. With some open space at center. Quick feed to Asplund. And the it's in the back. James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. The Chippers with that goal have gone up by one here in the third. Well, you're better up by one than down by one, James, but there's a lot of runway left. Now it's a mindset of attack, but be defensively responsible. Massey's got it in the offensive end. Charlotte's got the puck inside the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. And change is coming up front as the puck is sent in deep. 
sends it in deep. The checkers have it against the wall. Who's the puck? The Bears have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Pass the front, and that's off target. The checkers gain control of the puck. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. Fitzgerald stick handling in his own zone. Line change. The checkers will play it against the wall. They fight for it along the boards. And he takes the feed. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Snively. And it's a quick pass to McElrath. Takes a shot. Huge blocker save by Knight. And the puck's booted away. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. And that's poked away by Fitzgerald. He carries the puck up along the wing. There's a shot! Turns that one away! Gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. The Bears gain possession. Poked away in the neutral zone. Offside the call. We'll get a reset. Past the halfway mark of this period. Charlotte's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. The Bears take control of the faceoff. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. Scooped up along the wall by Brindamore. Gets the puck in deep. The checkers have it now. Feeds it to Brindamore. Change line. The Bears get a hold of the puck in their own end. Tosses it to MP. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Great hook check on the reach. Charlotte's got a hold of the puck. Smart defensive play there. Quick pass to Vecchioni. On the attack along the boards. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Great pressure with the stick. Taken along the wall by Asplund. Call right there. From the point, looks to make something happen. Let's get the call. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. The Bears with another big opportunity on the power play. On a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Trying to clear. Oh, that's a big-time clear there. Uh, the critical juncture of the game, and you're in your own zone. You've got to find a way to get that puck out, and you do it. You focus on the details, and you made sure you got it. Denies that opportunity. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Battling for it along the boards. The checkers gain possession along the wall. Oh, I thought that was in, and it just climbs over the net. Well, the fight for body position and the fight to get the hands on the puck, and that's exactly what happens. Just fills it over. And he hangs on to the puck. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And it's a much-needed kill as the penalty expires. The next shift is critical, James. They had the opportunity on the power play to get back in it and get the equalizer. Now they're down by one, so they have to manage some energy here, and they have to dictate pace and get back in the game. The checkers take possession off the faceoff. Here they come on the attack. Quick shot. That's good by Shepard. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Knight's given his team a chance to win in this game, guys. He's competed hard, and I've really liked his performance in this matchup. Cops up possession of the puck. Good use of the body on the play. Slides it quickly to Rowe. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Drops the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Snively. 
Way too much congestion blocks that. Fitzgerald's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a short pass to Rowe. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Charlotte's done a really good job of buying into the defensive structure plan that the coaches have installed. And this is critical in playoff hockey. You want to make sure you protect your tender and you stay in the middle of the ice. Takes a shot. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Broken up with a little physicality. Great pressure in the offensive end by Asplund. Hershey's in transition. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Shepard's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. 1-1. One, one. And if you asked anybody going into this series if they'd be surprised where this series would be at at this point, I think everybody would say no. Yeah, I know. And I would say no. You would say no because we see that this might go the distance. And when you're best on best, your players have to respond after a loss. And that's exactly what happened. They've got them now square even. And now it's back to the grind. And it's going to be a real and fun and entertaining series here, James. We know it's going to be back and forth. Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.